everyone. Welcome back to the Divine Healing of Love channel. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome back to my popular L-O-V-E tribe. Thank you all. My name is Nicole. And I'm going to be doing a reading today for the Divine Masculines Collective. So we're just going to ask Spirit whatever messages need to come up for the Divine Masculines. Just an overall energy update for the Divine Masculines. Ooh, these cards were not jumpy a second ago. Okay, so this energy is jumpy. That's a lot of energy right now. Okay. All of a sudden, I'm feeling charged up. Okay, spirit. <laughs> please give me messages for the Divine Masculines. Spirit, please give me messages for the Divine Masculines. All right, let's go. We have three of Pentacles in reverse. We have Ten of Cups. We have Five of Cups. We have Five of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Tower. We have Queen of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups. And we have Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> All right, and the bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so let's tap in. All right, so off the break, I just feel like with the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Tower clarifying and the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, right now is the time to take a break from work. I feel like the Divine Masculines, you know, which we do love as a Divine Feminine, we do love and appreciate this about the, about, about the Divine Masculines, the fact that Divine Masculines work very hard and love to work and love to provide and very much about the material world. We love that. But right now, Spirit is saying it's time to take a break from work. It's time to focus on family. It's time to focus, put your focus on other things other than work because something is out of alignment at work. And for many Divine Masculines, this is getting ready to be a pivotal moment with the career. Something is getting ready to go down in terms of work, in terms of finances. And it's not, it's going to look different, of course, for every Divine Masculine. Every Divine, it's a general reading here. So it's not going to be the same. It's not a one size fits all situation going on. But... Spirit is saying this is a strong urge to take a break from work. There needs to be some type of balance. There is not enough balance in your life right now. You're not focusing enough on your family, on your... Um, and you don't have to be in a situation, a romantic situation, but family. Because the Ten of Cups has come up here. And that's all about family, family life, emotional fulfillment. And I'm feeling like the Divine Masculines are working too much where they're not able to give family the right amount of love and attention that's needed right now. And Spirit is asking you to bring some of this focus that you focus so much on work in the material world, bring it to your family because your family needs you right now. For many Divine Masculines, I feel like you know, and I'm sorry, these messages are just coming out, so I got to take it how it comes. I'm feeling like you're still waiting for your, you know, divine counterpart. You're still waiting for this per perfect person that's going to make it feel right, that's going to, any and even if you are with who you feel that you will want to be with, you want this person to step up more into the queen role and 
to be more of that person at home that you need. But here's the thing. Are you giving this person what they need to make them feel secure and loved at home in order for them to do that? These are the questions you need to ask yourself because spirit is, this is a clear sign. Like take a step back from work because if not, it's already going down. The tower is already here under the three of pentacles in reverse. It's already here, but Spirit is also saying you need to focus on your family. You need to focus on your family. For some of you, you are married or in a partner situation. You need to give your partner some love and attention as well. And if you're not in a you know relationship right now, you you're searching for the one. You want the one, but what type of focus are you giving to find the one? And not necessarily even find the one, but if you want the one so much, Spirit is saying, how can you have the ones? You're not going to be able to get the one if you're not giving family the right amount of attention. You're not going to be able to receive that if you can't, if you're giving all of your focus and attention to work. It's just not going to happen. The choice is yours. Like you cannot keep giving work, 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 work. And there's no time for family. There's no time for children. There's no time. You can't keep expecting for this person to keep holding it down either. You know, spirit is coming through heavy. Like, no, like that's not going to be the case. Like, and even if you want this person, you're not going to be able to have it if you're just giving all of your attention to work. So my camera just cut off and I was just speaking and I didn't even realize my camera cut off. So I feel like that's interference and interruption. And I feel like there's a lot of that going on right now for Divine Masculines. It's a lot of interference and interruption. And I'm filming this right now with, during the holiday season. It's just a couple of days before Christmas few more days before the end of the year and I feel like the divine masculines have been in this energy this five of cups energy for most of the year this energy of feeling emotionally rejected feeling emotionally in emotional poverty feeling like you know looking at the losses dwelling on the losses not really able to move on from that and <clears throat> you know taking the time to look within to reflect on what's going on what's happened in your life what's happened particularly this year i feel like many of our masculines have been more introspective this year and really have looked at their their time within <clears throat> excuse me, their family, their community, where they stand with their friends, especially like their family with work. But I feel like the Divine Masculines feel like with work, I win. I'm in charge. I'm in control. With work, this is where I excel. This is where I succeed. With family, maybe, maybe not. You know, it's too many variables in that situation. One week I'm on top, the next two I'm kind of in the middle. I don't really know where to go sometimes with that. I'm not the best of relationships. I'm not the best with the family situation. I try my best, but I'm not always the best. But in work, at work, I am the best. I am in control. I reap the rewards of my work and what I do. <clears throat> and I succeed. And I feel like you know, the Divine Masculines have been able to really see themselves in different parts, different perspectives this year. And they've been reflecting on that. And it's made them sad in some ways. And Spirit is saying, again, <clears throat> it cannot, all of the focus cannot be on work. It has to be some focus on other areas. It has to be. You have to give yourself some equal give and take here. Balance. It has to be some balance. 
because right now divine feminines are doing it's the same way struggling with that balance between work and play and all of that but i feel for the divine masculines it's balanced with home and work family and work i feel like that's where because we have the five of pentacles here in reverse there has to be some balance with home life and work life I feel the divine masculines need to know that you can succeed at both. You can excel at both. You can win at home and with work. You can reap the rewards with home life and work life, but you have to put some focus, intentional focus and attention with your home life. However, family, whatever that looks like for you, it has to be some intentional focus there. And I feel like for many divine masculines, it's a situation where it's been all about work. It's been all about work and spirit is like, no, right now I need you to stand down with work. Like work is good. Work is okay. You're winning at work. Like you could take a little bit of a break. And again, however that looks like for you as a divine masculine, it's going to look different for everybody, but you could take your foot off the gas a little bit. Like, I need you to do that. I need you to do that because you're constantly, this is four swords. Yeah, it's four swords in reverse, but it's asking you to take a break. Like, this is clear. Take a break. If you're watching this, of course, this is a timeless reading. Whenever you watch it, it's going to be for you. But if you're watching this when this is, posted live okay or posted which is again in the holiday season the last days of 2020 take a break spirit is saying take a break again i cannot even make this more clear now the hermit is coming up four swords in reverse came up now the hermit is coming up like it's time to take a break take a break go within take time to yourself because your family again now the King of Wands is coming up in reverse. Sit down. It's time to take a break. No fire right now. No action. Yes, you are already the King of Wands. But it's in reverse. It's time to take a break. Like I can't even make this up. And Spirit is supporting you. You have strength right now to do so. Work will be fine. Work is good. It's time for you to focus on family. Focus on your home life. If your home life and your family life is, is not where you want it to be, and you know, you could be in a partnership already. You could have a partner, you could be in a marriage. But think about it, if you're in a marriage or you have a living partner, whatever your situation may be, is that it, does this situation look the way you want it to look? Does it reflect the type of image that you visualize yourself having as a divine masculine? Do you have that? Because you're given the strength right now from spirit. You're being supported with your team. You're being supported. <clears throat> and for some of you, I'm hearing, this is your divine feminine supporting you as well. Supporting you and wanting to support you and wanting to give you that love of support. Let her. Let her give it to you. But it's a clear, like, take a break, take a rest. Some of you need to take a trip. Take a trip somewhere. You know, relax. Spend time with your family. You can't get those moments back. All those moments at work, that's great. But what about your family? Give that love and attention to your family because you cannot get those moments back. Spirit saying clear, it's time to take a break. It's time to focus on yourself and focus on your family and your home life. Do it. Your children. Family. Divine feminine. Partners. Divine connection. Whatever you're in. Focus on that right now. Focus on, you know, reflecting on, reflect on your wins this year and your losses. Because again, you're being supported. You're being... You're, you're right now you are being given a lot of strength and you know if you don't want to take the break with work i'm hearing 
the tower is going to drop regardless. And, you know, it's going to drop regardless. And something is going to happen that it's going to force you to take a break. And, you know, this break may only need to be, you know, a week or something. But you got to give yourself and your family, your home life, that time. That time that's necessary. That time and attention that you cannot get back. It's so necessary right now. And spirit is urging you to take the break. Take the break and focus on that. Okay, so let's ask spirit. <clears throat> spirit, please give us messages for the divine masculines for their healing. Okay. Inner child. So this is just an overall collective thing because this came off of the Divine Feminine reading as well. Dreams. Wow, this is... I can't even make this up. <laughs> this came off of the Divine Feminine reading as well. So I'm going to just get the cards out and then we're going to go... We're going to dive into it. Let's see what else comes out. Okay, we have self-mastery. We have inspiration. And we're gonna have two more. Determination. And relationships. All right, the bottom of the deck. Divine wisdom. And that's the number 36. And so with 36, that will be the number nine. That will reduce down to number nine. So we're going to start here. <clears throat> we have inner child and dream. So inner child... That green color, that's the heart chakra. And we have 17, so that would reduce down to the number eight. And we have dreams, 26, that would reduce to the number eight. And this is purple, so this would be the crown chakra. So these two cards came out. These are the only two cards that came out with the Divine Feminine reading that matches the Divine Masculine reading. So I feel like this is an overall collective situation right now with the inner child. And just like I told the Divine Feminines in that reading, I feel like your inner child is trying to talk to you through your dreams. And your inner child wants to connect with you through your dreams. And so I feel like if you connect more, Spirit is saying for you, for Divine Masculines, if you connect more with your inner child, that will connect you that will make it easier for you to connect more with your family and your home life. You need to connect more with your inner child. Don't avoid your inner child. I feel like this avoidance is also the avoidance that you're feeling with your family and your home life. Not really wanting to get too deep with it. Not wanting to go too deep. Not feeling like, you know, because again, it's like the feelings of failure, the feelings of rejection, the feelings of abandonment. You know, those things are coming up and I feel like it's being triggered right now. Because of, you know, everything that's going on and you're being triggered heavy. And your inner child wants to talk to you. Your inner child wants to connect with you. Connect with your inner child in your dream space. Talk to your inner child. You know, if you meditate, if you don't, just, you know, you could try meditation. You could do a um, guided meditation from YouTube. Just search on YouTube, inner child healing meditation, guided meditation. Do a guided meditation to talk to your inner child. Comfort your inner child. Tell your inner child that, you know, they are safe. They are loved. You are here. You are here to listen. Be there for your inner child. You may want to write a letter to your inner child. What would you say to your eight-year-old self? What would you say to your 12-year-old self? Write a letter and read it aloud and burn it. There's so many ways to connect with your inner child. I told the Divine Feminines the same way. I said, um, 
when I was a child. I used to love chocolate eclairs from the ice cream truck and ice cream sandwiches. So, you know, when I want to connect with my inner child, I may go get a chocolate eclair. Or, you know, when I take my kids to the playground, I'll just swing on the swings because I used to love doing that as a child. And I just feel so content, so full of happiness doing that. And I'm connecting with my inner child. It's time to connect with your inner child. And that's going to help you with your partnerships, your family, and your home life. Because you definitely need to focus on that right now. So we have here 15, self-mastery. And that's number six. And 11, inspiration. So that would be the number two, if you reduce it, so 11 or two. So we also have the sacral chakra which is the orange color. And then we have yellow for the solar plexus right here. But you know, in this image, you see all the chakras, all the colors here. <clears throat> so you take it how it resonates. But I feel like, again, this is saying that the divine masculines, you know, you wanna master it all. You wanna master everything. And you usually start with the material world and work for your mastery. But now it's time for you to get inspired to master some self-mastery, self some healing, some self-love, some self-awareness. You're getting inspired to do that. And you're getting inspiration for new things. You're not who you used to be. Think about who you were January 1st, 2020. Now, whenever you watch this, think about where you are now. You're not the same person. You are totally different. You have been doing some good work this year. Healing in your journey. Self-awareness. You're being more self-aware. I'm hearing that some of you are really surprised at just the ideas and the downloads that you're getting now. Because you're opening yourself up to learning more to being inspired by different things. You want to get more knowledge. You want to do better. You want to be better. And this is the time to do it, but it needs to be intentional. It needs to be focused. And don't try to do too much at once. Take your time. Take your steps to do what you can do, but don't try to do everything at once. Get inspired, of course, but just take your time with it. You don't have to do, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You don't have to do everything all at once. Because Spirit is telling you to take a break. You definitely want to take a break, for sure. And as soon as I saw this relationship, so let me do the numbers first, okay? 16, that would be 7. 12, that would be 3. So again, we have the yellow solar plexus which is dealing with your confidence, your trigger center, and orange, sacral, that's dealing with inspiration, creativity, sexual energy. So when I saw this, immediately I thought of home life, family. You know, this doesn't have to be romantic relationships. Again, it could be, but you know, you take it how it resonates. But the home life needs attention right now. Your family needs attention. It's time to give that attention to your family. And you're very determined to meet your goals, to achieve, to win. So you need to bring that determination into your relationships. Because you have all of this determination for the material world and work and success, which is beautiful. This is great. But you need to bring some of that same energy here. Because your relationships, it needs it. Your divine feminine needs it. Your divine connection, whatever situation you're in. Family, your children, your sister, your brother, cousins, whatever. Needs this time and attention right now. Focus on that. Give, bring that determination and that same energy here. And get in touch with this. Because this is coming up under inspiration as well. And then we had two sacral two sacrals and I shuffled you saw how I shuffled these pretty good and then look we have 11 12 and we have 15 16 so you six and seven and two and three and I mean I shuffled these really good 
And this is what came up and I used it in the last reading. So spirit is saying, give it that attention to go to the next step and focus on your sacral and your solar plexus right now. These two chakras right here. Right here. Focus on that. And you're being given divine wisdom right now. The number nine. And again, this is like another yellow card. So that solar plexus again, the confidence, the self-esteem, self-worth. You have self-worth and value in other areas besides work. Work is not your only place to get your fulfillment. Your success in the 3D, the physical world, the material world is not the only place where you will have your fulfillment. You can have your fulfillment here too. Start programming yourself to know, reprogram your subconscious to know you can have value, fulfillment, and anything you want with your home and your relationships. It can happen for you too. Work is not the only place where you will see your worth. You can see your worth at home as well. You can succeed. You can be on top at home. And you have the divine wisdom to do it. And you have the knowledge and the know-how and the determination. So you just have to make the choice to do it. Okay, so before we leave, we're going to... I'm going to do this. I'm going to ask the goddess oracle deck. Which goddesses want to work with you right now? Okay, let's see what goddesses come up. And these are the goddesses that would love to work with you right now. So when you work with a goddess, you know, you could just, however this resonates for you, you know, if you want to you know, talk to this goddess, if you want to pray to this goddess, ask for help. All it takes sometimes is just, you know, saying, God is such and such. If you can help me, please help me with this. I need help with this. Really, that's all it takes. You know, it doesn't have to be so deep where it's this whole situation for getting help. So, you know, just take this how it resonates. Okay, I know that it's women. These are goddesses, but we have to honor that feminine energy, right? So, spirit, which goddesses? Please give me three goddesses that would love to work with divine masculines. Okay, so we have Bridget, Creative Spark. So, I feel like, again, the divine masculines are getting ready to get very creative. But I feel like spirit wants you to be creative with your home. You know, this creativity, you usually always have it for work. Bring that creativity with home. But, you know, that was just the messages I was getting. You take it how it resonates. Okay, let's get two more. So, Lakshmi, Fortune. So, that's Goddess Lakshmi and Goddess Bridget. So, we have a 28 here. So, that would be 10. And then... Bridget, that's the number eight. Let's get one more. Okay, and this is Nino Sin. I hope I'm saying that right. The past, 37. So 37, that would be a number 10 too. So that's two tens. So, you know, you take whichever you feel, you know, whatever you feel resonates with you. If any of them resonate, if it doesn't, you know, take it how it goes. But these are the goddesses that came out. And let's look at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So we have Shakti Transformation. And that's 46. That's another number 10. So for many divine masculines, this could be closing out the end of a cycle. And this is transformation. This came out actually for Divine Feminists as well. So this could be closing out. We have all these tens out. This could definitely be the end of a cycle. Okay. Comment below and let me know. Let me know how this resonates. So thank you all so much for being here. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. I'm sending you so much love and light. 
please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.